Good morning and good afternoon, YouTubers. Back at you again, man. Got some new content to you guys. I um, got this. Oh, man, it's hot, bro. Why Florida gotta be so hot? But, alright, like I said, um, got some boxes in. We're gonna unbox these things real quick. You got some more content. And then, you already know, you gotta put it in the car. So, with that said, I'm going to show you guys what I got um, that just arrived. We're going to unbox it together real quick. And uh, then I'll show you guys when I put it in the car. And we'll be close to guys to making all these four-wheel spins. So I'm going to show you guys what I got now. Let's go to it. Why you come so late, bro? Hey, bro I'm going to push your IG, bro. Cause why you come so late, bro? bro. Get my damn access, bro. What's up, boss? Damn guys, look man, finally got my package, look, FedEx right there man, just got my package in man, you already know, finally got my package in man, you already know we gotta put in the car now bro, so the two boxes, so this is from uh, Hub City, also that's from Hub City also. So I'm gonna unbox it right now and show you guys what's in them. As usual. There you go guys. This is the Hub City all-wheel drive uh, back bracket. I think it's pretty clean. Nice. So, I just gotta wait on my mounts. I gotta throw these things on. And let's open out the box. And my boy here trying to help me unbox these. See this? I guess in the pack well, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it came just like that too, not wrap or nothing. There you go. Ooh, -wee, that's pretty pretty. Ooh, -wee. yeah, man, that's a pretty. Smart. I gotta take another one. Thing was on back order for almost a month. Finally got them in, so now we gotta throw them on the car and make all four wheels spin, baby. Hell yeah! <laughs> all right, guys. Um, I took off my hub real quick. Uh, I gotta do the extended studs, and then we're gonna throw the axle in. And um, I'll show you guys after when I throw it in. Let me weld these studs real quick. And um, my boys over there about to put in one of the axle, and that's like that's how it's done. So I'm gonna weld this real quick and uh. Catch up on you guys after I finish with this. Alright guys, as you can see, I then welded my extended studs on to the all-wheel drive spindle. So now we're just gonna put the spindle back on and um, put the axle in and I'm gonna show you guys yeah with the axle on. So uh yeah let's get cooked, let's keep this thing going man. I'm excited now, we almost there guys, we're about to see all four wheel spin. Alright guys, got the axle, you can see the nut is there. Uh, let's, let's turn some light on, there you go. Alright All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys the mounts that I previously had on my car. They work phenomenal, never had an issue with them, but you know, 
Innovative really don't make all-wheel drive mount kit. So, sorry to let you guys know that. But, to my knowledge, they didn't come out with all-wheel drive mount kit. And, uh, Hatsport does. So, that's why I went with Hatsport. So, I'm going to show you guys right now what I have on the car. And, before I take them off. So, yeah, let's get to it. There you go, guys. Innovative. Had them for years. Years. And also, you see, I got the red inserts also. And. Don't mind this. I'm still doing some homework. Um, see, that one right there. And the back one. I already have off with the bracket. So, yeah. So, let me take off my turbo stuff and install these mounts in these brackets. Here got my back one guys. As you can tell, I had this thing for years, man. Like legit years. But it did this thing, see? It did this thing. No lie. The years I had in quick. And I'll show you guys how it comes packaged. I mean the box is a little cranked up, but I'm pretty sure it ain't got damage inside. So you're gonna see, we're gonna do a little unboxing this thing. And you already know, got to throw in the car. This is the last piece, guys. Um, then I got to do the mock-up for my exhaust and my... Just to make sure my drive shaft fit good. And that's it. So, yeah, man. Here go the box. Let me put the box down. Here goes. Now, sport. I did choose... You see, they put an X on. The 95, 94A's. And um, that's their phone number and that's their address. So, yeah, man. Good day. It was on back order for a while. But I I just been patiently waiting, man. Like, legit. I ordered this thing probably, say, four months ago. And they shipped it out on Monday. Yeah, Monday. And it came pretty quick. It took four business days. Because today is Friday. Yeah, and it came today. So, we're going to put this thing on the car. And, um, yeah, let's unbox it real quick. Alright, let's unbox this thing. Alright. Take out the first one. What is the first one about? I got really good. Oh man. Oh. Ooh. Let me make sure I could hook it up the right way. Is that the right way? Yeah, buddy. Got that red insert. Ooh. Put that over there. Bam. It wrapped pretty good, guys. Like, we got a lot of paper on this thing. Alright, we got the back bracket. This is the new improved back bracket, guys. As you can see, it's bolt up to the transmission, to the block. And this is also to the block. And right here is your mounts. So, you got two different height if you want to use. And this also right here, this other hole right here is for the block. So we have two block hole, one transmission. Hey, I got a couple. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's the back bracket for the all-wheel drive. Wish. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I'm going uh, to, hold on. All right, um, I'm going to show you guys something that I like. And I'm just an anal guy, so don't get me wrong. This is the bracket that comes with the my mount, the hospital mount. This is the back bracket. So you can see, got that, that right there. All right, this one right here is from Hub City. Hub City, all wood drive, back bracket. As you can see, this bolt bolts into the stock location on the transmission. And like I said, see, they have both points. If you want to tilt the motor, lean it up, whichever way you want to do it. And you use these two stock OEM points 
that the CRV comes with, and then another one here that gets to hold on to the the block or the top of the transmission. One of them. I don't know. I ain't put it in yet, but I was waiting on my mount, so they came. So I think this goes to the block or the top of the transmission. One of them. But I know for sure this goes in the stock location of the CRV back mount goes. This is where the back bracket bolts up to stock. This one does it. This one have a couple of different points that it bolts up to. But me, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. That's why I bought this one separately. Because Hub City sell theirs separately. They wasn't selling it before. But I like it. And we're going to try this one out. If I don't like it, I can always put this one on and try it. So, I got two all-wheel drive back bracket, guys. So, just to let you guys know, me, but if you could look, look at the, look at, on what, look at the shine. See that, guys? This thing is shine. High sport one, come like flat black. Not bad, though. Look good. But they both look good, man. Good quality piece. So, bam. So, move on. Let's take the unbox rest of this stuff. All right? Okay. This guy be for the trend. Yeah, transmission side bracket. Yes, sir. Like I said, this bolts up. The stock part. This goes through the, the frame of the car and put a nut on the bottom. And that's that's it. Yeah, more than two bolts. Okay. Alright, so that's one bracket. Put that right here. Let's put these paper over there. Let's see the rest of those stuff. What what else is in here? What else is this? Okay. I'm about to train them out. Train them out. Man, this thing is nice, man. As you can see, guys. That's a ass spot. It's a nice, nice piece. And you can see it's marked on the bottom. Make sure you guys see the right way. Is that right? Uh, which way is right? Huh. What did everybody say? EKK mounts. So that's not a mount. Alright, put that right there. It's a transmission one. We already got the uh, passenger side. So this gotta be the back mount. We got the back mount guys. The back mount. And where it say that. Where it say that. Oh what? Oh, and this one goes for EG and EK. So you can use the same mount, guys, on a EG. That's dope. That's dope. Right, what else? Got one more? Oh, another bracket. Okay, this has got to be the passenger side. Yep, the passenger side. This is nice. I like it, man, how you could actually lift your engine up or lower if you want to. That's, I like that. This thing is nice, guys. High sport, man. Nice well. This thing is clean, man. Loving it. Loving it. That is so fantastic. All right. More paper. Now, I think it, this left now is just the hardware. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, hardware. This is the hardware. Damn, bro. Check that out, y'all, boy. This shit came with a lot of washers. Look at that. Washers for days. And a whole bunch of bolts, as usual. The nuts. With the nylon nut. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. And so, yeah. As you can see. I don't know if you can see it on the bag, but that's EK K5 mount. Woo! So guess what? We gonna slap this thing on the car right now. You see, I'm sweating like a dog. I'm sweating like a dog. But guess what? We gonna throw this thing on the car right now. So what? Uh, I'll see you guys in a few. I'm out. Hold on, guys. I forgot. I forgot they sent me the sticker from Hasport. Another one. You gave me two stickers, guys. 
They gave me two stickers. Two stickers. Yeah, support who supports you, man. Good peace. Yeah. Alright, guys, got the mountain. This thing looks pretty, man. Pretty. Very. Man, look at that, dude. Look how pretty that looks. Alright, the other mount is on too. And I did put it on the lower setting, guys, because I don't want my engine to sit too high. My car is not lowered, so I'm not worried about my oil pan touching the ground. But man, look at that. Look how clean that looks, man. Now, the back one. Check out that back, guys. Check out that high sport motor mount with the hub city back bracket man man tell me that ain't pretty bro that is so clean and there you go again as you can see i have also on the lowest lowest point also with this lowest point also with this one lowest point so yeah man this thing look man look how pretty that look guys ice now i gotta put the manifold on and see how that fits all right guys got the manifold on now man this should clear it nice look guys look how close my waist get. can you see look how close that waist gets to that back bracket guys Man, but it clears. Let's see if I get it. Can I get it? Can I? Oh, come on. Where the light went? Where you went? Come on. Look at that. That is close. But it fits. Focus. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. So yeah, now I gotta put the turbo on now, and let's see what else we gotta do. The axles in the differential now. The other one. Boys going on the wheel right now. So both axles in. Gonna jack it up in the front real quick and put it again. See how this thing spins. Man, this thing clears perfectly. Loving it. So let's put jack up the front now and make some four wheel action. All right, guys, got all four wheels on. Uh, I don't, I think it's cold though, but we'll see. Um, got all four wheels on, guys. Got it on the jack real quick. We're gonna see if all four wheels actually spin, guys. We're gonna check it out. Let's see. All right, guys, we just started the car. As you can see, the car starts cold. Got good oil pressure. Cool.
crank it up. Again, we got some heat in it now. We're about to give all four wheels spin. About it, guys, let's talk about it. Mission accomplished, man. Um, you can see it. Now I just gotta put it on the floor and see how it feels. Go for a little quick little test drive. Then beating on it while just testing it. Make sure everything is not making no noise. Make sure everything looks good. And yeah, as you can see, all for Will Smith now, guys. I'm hot. I'm excited, but you know, man, it's a long, long wait. So I'm gonna put it on the floor, and I'm gonna take you guys for a test drive, and we'll see how it feels together. All right, so let's get to it. Yay! I said more content coming to you guys, man. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Smash the, the bell button. You get notification when I upload. And um, stay tuned. I'm out. Peace.